Hi, uh, this is Ruby. Say hi, Ruby. And Ruby, unfortunately, had three herniated discs and surgery. A 50-50 chance to walk again. And that was a couple months ago. Um, and unfortunately, she's probably not going to be in the 50% that um, is able to walk again which means uh, bladder control is the last thing to come back. So um, uh, she needs her bladder expressed. And I wanted to make this video to help others out there that have or are in um, similar situations um, because there was a lot of trial and error. Um, and I've learned some techniques that help. So first of all, um, if you are dealing with a dog that has become paralyzed, um, this help, help, help him up harness, I think is the name of it, is um, will save your back. And um, what I have is an extension handle that you can buy separately. Uh, for when, when I walk her, I'm a, I'm a tall person and um, it, it helps to save my back. But there's two handles. And so um, uh, you can walk her around, you can lift her up, and it just, it makes things a lot easier. But to go ahead and express her bladder, I disconnect, I actually don't have to disconnect that, but um, I lay her down. It doesn't matter which side. And then I'm gonna disconnect her harness down here just to get it out of the way. And then you're gonna want uh, a potty pad. I get the um, five plus cups so fresh leak guard. They're bigger um, because I also at the same time try to um, help her to have a bowel movement so she doesn't have an accident in that respect. Um, so you're gonna take the potty pad. You're gonna you want her or your dog to lay on their side and um, you'll want to lift your hips up and just lay them on the edge of the potty pad. Move it away here. Um, one thing in the beginning that I did was I did all her care with both my knees down and hunched over. Big mistake, kills your back. So um, I always do one knee up and this knee down and um, so you got, you got your basket, whatever you have, you got, you, you're gonna wanna have wipes, either a pair of gloves or a cotton swab and some kind of um, Vaseline or, or water lubricating uh, gel, which I prefer, but right now I just have the Vaseline. So anyway, um, what I do to keep her tail out of the urine, because if, if, if urine gets on them, you know, of course, they can, they'll smell, but um, they can get urine scald and break down their skin. So I tuck the tail underneath or to the side with this potty pad. Then when you express her bladder, the urine will tend to run underneath her and then she'll have urine on the side that she's laying on. So what you wanna do is what I call make a well, I will, fold the potty pad up, kind of just tuck it like that, so and kind of, you know, just make a little bit of a well there so it doesn't run back on her. So when you express a dog's bladder, I you, they say, watch YouTube videos and they'll show you how, and I think you just have to find what works. But um, most of the YouTube videos would say to take your hand underneath her and a hand on top to press her bladder, um, and that works fine, but um, I did a combination of it, and that is to take your hand, and this hand on top, but I also, I take my hand with my thumb, and then I add this hand to it. And you're just gonna kinda push in, you're gonna feel, and I feel it with this, with my hand um, and my thumb first but I need more pressure, so that's when I use my other hand. And I feel like a balloon type thing, which is her bladder, 
and I push together and her legs draw up and you can see the urine comes out. Now it depends on how much she has to drink. She's not real great at drinking. If she would drink more, it'd be, it'd be uh, easier. But once again, I feel for that bladder and I push and she's not gonna have a lot of urine right now. There's, she draws her legs up. She's got a few little dribbles. Um, and then sometimes what I also do is I'll just rub her belly and just let her relax out a little bit. And then I'll reach my hand underneath and my thumb and push in with my three index fingers. Not my, and I have short nails during this. I haven't had any long nails, but I use my fingertips there. See, she's going again. The danger is, or not danger, but the bad thing is that they're prone to UTIs because it's really hard to express all of the urine completely out of the bladder. So, um, just, you know, do the best you can, try to get all the urine out. But I, like I said, I like to put my thumb and hand around it and then I use my other hand to, uh, or fingertips to, there, see, I'm getting a lot more urine out. And if I hadn't waited and just let her relaxed and tried it again, um, she would have had that urine sitting back in there. So you start like, here's her rib cage, and you go down a little bit here and start about in the middle. But my, the best success is just kind of in between these hip bones where her bladder sits just depends on how full her bladder is. Now I keep trying to see, and I, I don't really feel, I think, the, I think it's pretty empty. Sometimes it slips between your fingers. So now I have the urine on the pad. And so now I always try to see if she needs to go poop. So, you know, a couple ways I can fold the pad over, but, or one way or the other. But what I tend to do is to take this, cover up the urine that she's already gone, like that. And now I have, that's why I like the extra large pads, because I can work with it. And um, now you can take like a rubber glove and use your little finger to kind of stimulate her, um, to kind of stimulate her, um, you know, anal area and see if she needs to go. Sometimes I go a little bit inside digitally just to see if I can feel some poop in there and to help her to, uh, to go. Or you can use a Q-tip. I kind of like the Q-tip because it's just smaller and um, it's a lot of times it's enough. This is my Vaseline. Um, like I said, I, I would try to find a like KY jelly or some kind of lubricant, water-based uh, lubricant. Um, but anyway, so I take this and I just, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I just kind of stimulate just on the kind of outside or, and I may have to go inside just a little bit, but just to see if she needs to go. Um, and we'll see if she does or not. She's kind of moving around like she does. I really like her to, I, I express her bladder three times a day. Um, I did do it a little bit more in the beginning. Um, I think she's gonna, I think she might go poop. Um, but I did express her bladder four times and sometimes more, but Honestly, um, now we're down to three times a day, and so I really like her to, to um, I really like her to go poop um, each time because sometimes I can't get anything right there. Sometimes um, she'll have an accident if I don't. So I'm just gonna see if she has, and sometimes she doesn't have any poop, she's not ready to, and so that's when I just use this finger and I kind of feel a little bit and see. 
I was hoping it just she would do it with a Q-tip for today. Yeah, I feel a little bit in there. But it may not be enough for her to go. But that will usually, I don't think she's gonna need to go this afternoon, but she usually will. But um, anyway, so if she does, then, then um, as she goes, you can kind of, as she's finishing, you can kind of pull her back a little bit and it finishes. And then I always, I have hypo, hypoallergenic um, dog wipes that are fragrance free. And I always wipe her urinary area and then her rectum and um, clean it. And then I take it and see she's dry here because um, of the way that I did my pad. But if not, if you think that, um, if you think that uh, you didn't get it, all you'd have to do is take your wipe and just kind of wipe her off like that. And then I take this and I save grocery store sacks and I just put it in there and tie it up and put it outside. I, I would think a diaper genie for like you use for cat litter might work or something if you can, you know, but just to, so it doesn't smell, um, especially when they go poop. Um, and then I just hook her back up here and she's ready to go again. Um, now some things, they put her on Prazelson which helps to relax the bladder and is supposed to make it easier to um, express her bladder. So she does take that. Um, also, uh, cranberry bites or um, some kind of a cranberry supplement that your vet has told you about, um, I would highly recommend giving that. Um, you know, just to help decrease the chances of getting a UTI. So, anyway, and then, Ruby, we're all done. Can you sit up? Hey, can you sit up? Can you sit up? Yeah. So, anyway, so then Miss Ruby is all ready to go. And um, I hope that this has helped you out. Um, like I said, it's, it's been a process. Um, Good luck to you and uh, you can do it.